In my opinion, Ye is the best aimer in all of Valorant. So what is his secret? I've talked in previous videos about Ye's crosshair placement and smooth aiming mechanics, and it's always been his consistency that has really impressed me. Seriously, can you even remember a truly bad whiff from Ye? But this clip blew me away because of a different skill that puts Ye at the top of the tier list of godlike aimers. Let's slow this round down so we can actually see the little things that are happening in fractions of a second. The first fight that Ye takes is when he walks through the smoke to trade out his teammate who just died to Breach nearby. Right off the bat, we can see that his crosshair eye is absolutely perfect, and it's right on the corner of the wall in front of Generator where a player might be tucked after pushing through the smoke. No surprise there, Ye's pre-aim has always been incredible. However, there are actually two enemy players close by, and he needs to quickly decide which target to shoot first. Fortunately for Ye, neither player is looking directly at him, which gives him the element of surprise. He chooses to target Neon first, and this is the correct choice for a number of factors. First of all, Neon is slightly more turned towards Ye and could spot him first, and secondly, she is slightly further away than Breach and not walking into a slow field, making her potentially the more difficult target to hit. Thirdly, his strafe momentum is headed towards Neon already, making the aim adjustment much easier. Now, I won't pretend that Ye is actively thinking about all of these factors in real time, but the fact that he makes such a perfect decision does show that at least subconsciously, he's kind of aware of what's going on and completely in the zone. As he counter strafes for the shot on Neon, it carries his momentum directly back towards Breach, and because both targets were relatively the same distance away, he barely has to adjust his crosshair at all. All. Now here is where Ye's Ultra Instinct Anticipation kicks in. He swings his aim from the Dying Breach to Sight where he knows other enemies were fighting his allies. It's a quick flick adjustment of almost 90 degrees and Ye's crosshair stops perfectly on the edge of the Radiantite box. No shaking, no over or under flicking to the spot, just exactly to the most likely angle for another enemy to peek. The accuracy of this flick is immediately rewarded when Sage steps out from the box's corner. Even though Ye's crosshair placement is a bit low, he only needs to adjust vertically because his horizontal pre-aim was so spot on. Again, no shaky adjustment, just a quick, deliberate flick for a third consecutive headshot, and immediately he swings to the left for the chamber player that he knows is coming from tower thanks to a teammate's ping. This time we can see his crosshair is in the wall, which might look like a mistake at first. However, because Ye knows that someone will be fighting him from the tower side of sight, he is planning to wide swing the angle and try to get the timing advantage instead of letting them swing into him. Because of this, he is pre-aiming the future angle that his strafing movement will take him to, not the current position of his crosshair. As Ye swings, his crosshair is kind of floating in the middle of a variety of potential angles, and he's definitely not anticipating Chamber to be literally jumping out of the tower to challenge him. Let's slow this way down now so we can see how calm and collected Ye's tracking is of the moving target as he makes just a couple simple movements to follow and almost perfectly predict the landing spot for Chamber's head level. With the round still hanging in the balance, Ye hops up onto site to take control of the area and is tipped off to the remaining player's location by shots fired at his teammate. Again, we can see incredible mouse control as he flicks across the screen towards Omen and his movement carries his crosshair perfectly again to the corner of the box, which allows Ye to lock on instantly as soon as Omen appears on screen. I have to also take a moment to appreciate the ammo discipline that Ye displays in this clip. The entire ace takes a total of 15 bullets, which averages out to three per target. So let's go ahead and count it out really quick. Two for Neon, two for Breach, three for Sage, five for the moving target of Chamber, and a final three for Omen. This clean of a round only happens when you have extreme discipline and even better future sight to anticipate where opponents will be and what they will try to do to you. I'm running this because everyone's slow peaks just for some reason. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> 